What is going on guys? My name is Robin back in from Mom Reviews here talking to you guys about my personal top five most anticipated anime of winter 2019. Fall 2018 was really good, a very, very, very solid season for anime. In fact, some of my favorite shows of the year came from this season. Um and I'm ready to jump into next year because next year is going to be pretty damn good, I feel like, in terms of anime. And Winter 2019 is not going to be an exception. Um, I would like to give a brief shout out, not even before honorable mentions, uh, because that's going to come up right next. But I'm not going to be watching Mob Psycho 100 or Data Live 3 because I haven't seen the original series to both of them. I know, I know, it's a shame because everyone's like, wait, 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 you haven't seen Mob Psycho 100? What are you doing with your life? I, I, I know, I know. I do apologize, but it, it's on my list and I haven't really had much time to like sit down and watch anime Outside of some stuff that I mostly listen to in terms of background noise But Odd Psycho 100 is definitely going to be on my list In fact, I should probably give it an audible mention list simply of how popular it is I mean, you guys can see here, it is the most anticipated show of Winter 2019 Not mine In fact, you actually, if you've seen one of my other videos, which I'm not going to name uh, because they'll give it away, but I did say what my number one most anticipated show of the year is going to be for winter 2019 But I would like to give an honorable mention to two shows in particular um, And that is going to be Shingeki no Bahama, which is based off of a mobile game But the preview looks fantastic and plus the main character Gria I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it or gray um, which is the dragon lady is 10 out of 10 waifu material to me. <laughs> um, and all honesty, this is not going to be something I react to. Um, but this is definitely something I'm going to be keeping an eye on for definitely sure. Um, and the next one is down to... And the next honorable mention, the last one, is going to be Boogie Pop Wa Wawaranai. Wara Wanai. Um, and, and, and surprisingly, the Boogie Pop series is very popular. In fact, it has an 8.28 score on my anime list, which is really, really high. It's ranked 375... Um, which is really high in terms of rating. Um, and I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So it's on my radar. I don't know anything about it. I've, I'm completely blind to the series, I guess you can say. But it has enough of a backing where it has such a... It has a good backing already. I mean, it's not on the top six. But it's number seven in terms of most anticipated for Winter 2019. Um, so that's definitely a show. That's definitely a sign of what to be looking out for um but next on the list of number five of my most mo my most t uh top my top five most anticipated list do apologize is going to be tate no yusha no no Riyagari, which is the rising of the shield hero now the only reason why i was actually introduced to this in the first place was where if you guys don't know where i work i work in a grocery store i do inventory um but we have vendors who come in, and I was talking to uh, I was talking to another coworker about anime, and one of the vendors overheard us, and he came came in over, and he was talking about it with us, um, and then he brought up, hey, you should really look up Rising a Shield Hero, um, and at the time he didn't know that it was getting made into a man uh, anime adaptation, um, so this was a little while ago, but he was saying how this is really good, this is really good, this is really good that we should check it out, um, and then so I was like, all right, it was on my list. Next thing you know, it got an anime adaptation. And then I've been seeing some people uh, who are mutual friends or um, people who they like on Twitter uh, were talking about this show and saying that you should go into this completely blind. So I'm going to be reacting to the show. For sure, I'm going to be reacting to the show. Like I said, it is very popular. For example, it has, hold on, it's number four in most anticipated shows. So I'm guessing the light novel is very, very popular. Um, and I'm ready to jump into it. I'm going to be reacting to it. Um, I, I am actually, what does it come out? Please don't say Saturdays. Uh, it comes out on Wednesdays. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I do work Wednesday mornings, so let, we'll see what time it comes out. Um, but we'll see what happens. It is number five, but I have a feeling it might jump up even higher, especially after it with all people, with all the people saying that it, it's going to be really, really good. Um, next one is going to be The Promised Neverland or Yaku Soko. No, Neverland. This has definitely been on my radar. In fact, one of my old... I, I can't remember your name. Um, but one of my old followers had kept on telling me to watch... Uh, read the light novel, read the light novel, read the light novel. And then it got made into an anime. It's actually... I believe... The, yeah, it is the fifth most anticipated show of the season. Uh, of the winter uh, season. And honestly, it looks good enough. Um, I haven't even seen the preview. I'm going to go, like, same thing with uh, Shield Hero. I'm going to walk into it completely blind. Am I going to be reacting to it? Comes out on Fridays? Maybe. 
maybe I might be reacting to it. There's a lot of things I'm going to be reacting to. I feel like I feel like almost all of these I'm going to be reacting to on my top five list. Um, but yeah, The Promised Neverland. I've heard great things about it. In fact, I feel like I will react to this. This one and Shield Hero for sure. Um, the next one, not so sure. And speaking of the next one, let's go on to it. I'm, it, it, I'm going to butcher this name. Go to Bun no Hanayome, or which are what I know as the five wedding brides, or the quintessential quintuples, uh, quintuplets. This is a manga that I've been reading for quite a long time. In fact, I came across it. When did I come across it? I came across it about six, seven months ago, and I got completely caught up in the manga. It's very well done. Um, basically, without spoiling too much of it, the main character, um, Futaro, is hired to become a tutor for these five quintuplets and all of them are waifus in their own uh, in their own way although granted there's a couple that are best uh, in fact the girl with headphones is top tier although right now honestly they're all, all the girls are really good there's only two that really need a lot more um development in the manga but all the girls are really good in fact we're gonna have a waifu war if this show actually picks up I, we're gonna get some waifu wars um i have no idea how the show's going to end it's only gonna be i believe 12 episodes which is gonna be it, i i have a feeling it's only gonna be 12 episodes it doesn't really say that i'm looking at um what it's going to have um but yeah, like you can tell you right here, um, they have a lot of volumes. Uh, uh, are they only on volume five? It feels like a lot more. But yeah, the quintessential quintuplets is definitely going to be really good. And the, yeah, the main character Futaro is a tutor for these five girls who are struggling in school. Um, and really, a lot of tutors aren't really capable of handling them. And he, he steps in to help out. It's a really cute show, a uh, cute manga, and I can't wait for the anime adaptation. Now, the next one... Honestly, if it wasn't for the number one spot, this would easily be number one. But same thing with uh, quintessential quintuplets. This is also from a manga, and that is Kaguya-sama or Love is War. Another synonym is Kaguya wants to be confessed to. Oh my god. I have read this manga when it was only on its second chapter. And I called. I called after the fifth chapter. I was like, this is going to be one of the most popular mangas. And I was right. It finally got an anime adaptation. Me, another guy named Lar Games, who was another fellow reactor in our community. He, me and him are totally hyped for this show. Um, we're hoping it does it justice, so we'll see what happens. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous seeing on where this is gonna go, but I'm really hoping it does really good because this manga was fantastic. It's basically like, imagine the mind games in Death Note, not the, not the actual plot around death note but like how the mind games were all in the main character's heads add that to a romantic comedy there you go the amount of head battles the battle of the minds that and then transfer that into a romantic comedy where the main characters both um the student council president um who was oh my gosh miyuki shiragani and the vice council uh, vice student council president uh kaguya uh shinomiya their goal is to make the other confess to them and whoever confesses loses and they're too prideful and whoever confesses first is the loser and they get to a point where like oh i'm gonna make him confess because uh <laughs> it's not really gonna be spoiling anything because it's kind of right off in the gig or they're like i'm gonna make him confess and show that i'm better than him or i'm better than her and then it eventually gets to the point where eventually like, just hurry up and confess to me already. I just want to go out with you. It's a really cute show, but it's hilarious. And I think the the facial expressions as well are going to be really good. And I can't wait to see the how lewd face from Kaguya be animated because that is going to be great. I'm going to be reacting to this. It's on Saturdays. I'm not, I might not be able to react to it on time, but Kaguya-sama, I'm for sure going to be reacting to. Not too sure about quintessential quintuplets, but for sure Kaguya-sama, hands down, I'm reacting to it. And the same thing goes for the number one, which is going to be, of course, Kagegurui XX. Absolutely, I cannot wait for this manga to be, well, not, well, actually it is a manga, but I can't wait for the second season of the anime to come out. So I do not know if all this is going to be released all at once. Like I said, during the trailer for the preview, um, we got to see some dates run across the screen and Netflix put out a 0115, which is January 15th. Netflix is known to release everything at once. I don't know if they're going to do it with this, but they have a track record of doing it to it. So I don't know if they're going to release the entire series at once. 
Well, at least I'm going to be able to get my reactions done and out of the way. But Kakegurui XX is, oh, I cannot wait to see the amount of ridiculousness and the new games that are going to be coming out for this series. Absolutely looking forward to it. The preview, you guys can see my reaction to it. I've reacted to both Kaguya-sama and Kakegurui's preview. And both I'm really happy for. But Kakegurui is just that much more reaction, uh, much more anticipated for me in terms of reactions and in terms of my pure enjoyment of the show i do really regret not sitting down and watching the entire thing and reacting to it i think it stopped at episode six or seven um for some reason i just i had to stop watching it and then i just never got back up uh, back into it which i do apologize but i did finish the series i rewatched it in sub and then i watched it again in dub and i've rewatched the dub version multiple times mostly for background noise but the show is really good it has its moments of slowness but Overall, that didn't degrade any type of enjoyment for it. So definitely, Kakaguri XX is my number one most anticipated show for winter 2019. I would love to hear what your guys's are in the comment section below. Which one should I definitely keep an eye out on? But yeah, so for sure, four reactions. I'm going to be really hurting because I've only reacted to two this season. And I don't even think I reacted to much last season. But yeah, definitely for sure. Kakaguri, Kaguya... Um, Promise Neverland and the Rise of the Shield Hero are for sure's, and we will see with the quintessential quintuplets. I will see. In fact, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Should I react to it or should I not watch it on my own time? I have a feeling most people are gonna say yes, but like I said, five is a little gonna be hard for me, but we'll see what happens. If it's for you guys and you guys are really looking forward to it, we'll see what happens. But also, I do have to worry about the whole copyright claim and strike system. So, if I do happen to get those, I will try to find a way around it, especially for the four. Those four that I mentioned. If I do get some copyright claims, I will try to do whatever I can to get them up on my YouTube channel. Um, but worst comes to worst, I will use my Google Drive account, which I hate, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching another, uh, I would say a reaction video because that's what I normally do. But thank you guys so much for watching another video. Uh, this is another one of my anticipated shows of the season. And honestly... Winter is looking to be really strong. I have an actual selection where I plan on watching every single one of them. Even the audible mentions I want to look at. Like I said, I want to watch Boogie Pop. I have no idea what it's about. I don't know if I should watch it. If I should watch the original first or watch this new one. I don't know if it's a reboot or anything. Like I said, I know nothing about it. I don't know. Um, but the Shingeki no Bahamut, cute dragon waifu. I'm probably going to watch it. I mean, last time I had a dragon waifu was Kobayashi and... So went for a second season on that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what your personal list is in the comment section below. And I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.